guys, how you doing? King Super Ben here. Welcome back to another video. So today we are finally revisiting the Game Boy Collection. So let's get into it. So we're gonna go in release order of when the Game Boy was released. So first, the original. So yeah, I got this at CEX for like, I think it was like 55 or something. And this thing has been absolutely fine this whole time. Like, it's for the game in, got Tetris. Still working just fine. The batteries did have a little bit of corrosion, the older, so you can see by the orange, but at least it worked fine. I've got some Duracells in there. But yeah, this thing is absolutely fine. To be honest, this is like the most comfortable Game Boy to hold. I mean, it's huge, but my God, when you're just doing this, it's very comfortable. The next Game Boy is the Game Boy Pocket. So I got this to see it's in Leeds. Um, I cannot remember the price at all. And this thing is mint, to be honest. Like, let's get some batteries. In Tetris again. Look at that. But yeah, I have noticed that gaming without a backlight is kind of terrible, to be honest. But when you get the light like this, it's it's all right. Have a little go. Let's get this in a line. But the Game Boy that fixed that issue of the light. The Game Boy Light. Yep, this is the one that was only released in Japan. I managed to get hold of this, but it was furiously expensive. It's popping Tetris, it's got rechargeable Duracells in here because with normal batteries, it drains almost instantly. So let's turn it on. And it recently did have an issue where literally the battery contacts had corroded because of the batteries. But yeah, new battery contacts got in. And yeah, it works absolutely fine now. So I'll wait for Tetris to learn. You can see you can pass the light on. I quite like the teal color as well. It really helps for gaming in the dark. It's not that bright in person, but it makes a very, very big difference. Trust me. The next Game Boy that we're on is the Game Boy Color. So as the name implies, it's the one that introduced color. So yeah, I've got this in Atomic Purple, I think it's called. I think I've got the batteries in there, some Halper's Essentials. Put in Tetris. Fire it up. And you can even change the color palette as well. So we've got the green theme here. There you go, yeah, this thing is an absolute gem. Right, let's get that out of the glare. Yeah, the colors are fine. The speaker's pretty good as well. I mean, the screen's on the small side. It's like the size of the original Game Boy. But yeah, I use this sometimes. I mainly play Super Mario Bros. Deluxe on this, just to like feel the power of the color back then. But yeah, nice little sort of machine. I rate this thing. Now we're getting on to the Game Boy Advance systems. So first, the original Game Boy Advance. Yep, the only landscape Game Boy, I mean, except the micro app. It's kind of landscape as well, but yeah, this is a big one. It's actually okay to hold. It kind of feels like an SNES controller when I hold it. And let's pop in Pokemon Fire Red. And let's turn it on. These batteries finally dead? No. These batteries are the ones that came with this Game Boy in like 2020. And they're still working somehow. Yeah, no backlight. Clean the screen a bit. Yeah, this was given to me by one of my mates. Shout out to them. But yeah, I do like the Game Boy Advance. Even backwards compatible with these 
but it's not the best. Because we're now moving on to the Goated Game Boy. The Game Boy Advance SP. Oh, yep. <laughs> I did a video on this and I said that this is the best Game Boy you should go out and get. So it does look like... Oh, no it isn't. Oh, it was dead. <coughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, it's got the backlight. You can have it on or off. And the game is not good enough. Try that again. There we go. And again, it's even got the clamshell, just like a DS as well. And of course, no more doubles or triple A's. Rechargeable. And in my opinion, it has the best speaker as well. I mean, and there is the updated version that has a far better screen than this one. But yeah, this one is still pretty good. But one big complaint, no headphone jack. But why though? And now we're moving on to the weirdest Game Boy, the Game Boy Micro. And it is also the smallest Game Boy ever made. So yeah, I haven't used this thing in a while. The, I don't really like the shoulder buttons to be honest. It feels like an NES controller. Let's pop in Pokemon again. Let's turn it on. Still going. Looks like it does need a charge though. It, can, it actually kind of looks better for take off. Yep, there you go. So it does work, I just don't use the thing that much. Because it's just too tiny and only plays Game Boy Advance games. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. So let's get all the Game Boys in frame here. So we've got the color, the Advance, the Advance SP, the goated one. Let's get the other three as well. Got the light, got the pocket, and of course, the original. Yep, let's get them all in. And that is about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. And here are all the Game Boys on the shelf to this day. You've got this cool light. And here's all my games as well, if you want to have a look. Apple.